Happy News Day, oil traders. It's uh, still July 19th, and at the time is 3.50 p.m. Eastern, 10 minutes to go in trading. And uh, it looks like investing.com is having a bit of a issue with their site. Um, but if I check on daily FX here, uh, you can see that uh, on their site, it's showing that the price has dropped to uh, 47.09. Uh, not much different from what investing.com got stuck at. I'm not really sure why their site is stuck. It, it shows that it's still running real time, but in any case, it is what it is. Um, so what happened? Uh, we had a larger draw in gasoline than expected, but not much larger. Um, we had, I think, uh, an extra uh, billion draw. Um, so the, the difference between what was reported and what was expected was rather small. And the net result of that, at least that's my interpretation, was a rather weak bullish climb. Um, we jumped up from the mid 46s to just over 47. Um, and uh, we made kind of one rally to the highs from two weeks ago. So if I pull this chart out to the one month chart, you can see that we're basically stuck at the um, near highs back from July 4th. Um, so what I did was I looked at the July 4th numbers, um, saw that our high was uh, 47.31, and um, I put in my order for 47.25, basically a few cents lower than that previous high, and it turned out to be the perfect number, um, or one, one cent off, I guess. Um, but that's how I came up with the with the number, um, no, you know, wizardry to it. Um, pretty simple stuff. Um, you know, as smart or as lucky as that might seem, it doesn't mean that we're not going higher tomorrow. Um, you know, we're still ending the day above 47, which is rather bullish. The fact that we got stuck um, below the the high from July 4th doesn't really mean all that much. Um, we could very well be going to 48 and 48 plus, um, which of course I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, I've got two long positions, so if we flip over to my portfolio on uh, tradingjournal.ca, uh, you can see that I've got uh, two long positions. Um, so here's the uh, here's the position that I just added today. Um, is about tw just over 24% of the portfolio invested in it. Um, it's marginally positive now because we've pulled back. Um, so you can see, so if I flip back to the one day chart here, you can see you know we hit the high of 47.26 and then dropped back down. So that's why I'm positive on that position um, right away. Um, marginally positive. Um, of course, I'm not gonna take um, a, uh, a 0.1% profit, um, but at least it, it look, it's moving in the right direction for me. Um, what I was going to say is if we do keep on climbing to 48 um, or higher than that, then it starts to make the sale of my two long positions attractive. As you can see, um, one of them is over three months old now and the other is about a month and a half old. So um, this particular position is now in the money. Um, so I would welcome the opportunity to exit at least one, if not both, um, hopefully for better than break even, but we'll see. Um, so I'm mentioning that because it's important to understand that even though I'm adding to my short positions and I feel that we are heading down, um, I don't exclude the possibility that we will head up first. Um, it's certainly possible. Um, you know, bears are on a streak right now and they might hold it for a few more days. Um, but ultimately, I think we're heading down. We're going to revisit those lows of um, 42 or even lower than 42. So that's what happened on my end. I'd love to hear what you guys did on your end and uh, what you feel is coming for the week ahead. Um, hit me up down below on the comments form on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can find more info on my portfolio, trades, and results. Um, and in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned. And I'll check with you guys in the morning ahead of trading on Thursday. Until then, good luck. Cheers.